Are you coming on up? Come here, babe. Come here, babe. Good girl. There she is. Good girl, patchouli. Hey, 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 you. I know there's not a lot of room here. Let's let's go ahead and get these out of the way so we can make some room. But yeah, I'm gonna guess it's like uh, it's similar to theme park, which was a, a, a bullfrog point and click uh, strategy game. Uh, next is I don't even remember. Oh no, I remember this. Okay, cool. Need for Speed Two SE. So that should be cool to fire up. Um, I heard the PC versions of the Need for Speed games were the best. This one's really scuffed up. But again, you know, I don't really care that much as long as it works. These are only a dollar a piece. Uh, Leisure Suit Larry, Love for Sale. I don't know which Leisure Suit Larry part this is, but, uh, you know, for only a buck. Yeah, it looks legit. 1996. Yeah, I'm really not sure which one that is. Uh, next is... Did I? I don't even remember buying this, but okay, sure. This is on Glyph. This is totally a budget throwaway title. It's apparently a uh, puzzle game. Also includes a bonus game called Snail Mail. I'm a little scared. Um, okay. Uh, next up is Frogger. So that should be interesting to play as well. I've played the PlayStation version and we actually had loaded this up on the Windows 95 machine via like a, a uh, an ISO. But now we've got the original game. So I'll load it onto the Windows 98 machine. We'll see how it runs. Uh, next up is a game called Fly Special Edition. Um, I mainly got this one because it was a big box game. I'm not sure if I'm gonna actually play it because it looks like it's like a flight simulator. But, you know, it's a big box game. What you doing, little girl? Hi. So you're, you're, are you helping out? Can I, can I, can I put this on top of you? Oh, it's Fly 2K. So there we go. Let's look at the back of the box. Uh, yeah, definitely a flight sim. So, uh, who is it made by? doesn't say oh encore so no i don't know i can't even tell who it's developed by there's so many different names on it we got wilco publishing gathering of developers publishing um <laughs> aol shop direct apparently this was an aol exclusive at least this version of it was Looks like this one probably had some extra feature. Oh, Terminal Reality made it. Okay. Huh, interesting. Cool. So uh, it's another big box game to add to the collection for a dollar. <laughs> so, um, all right, last but not least, these are uh, also box games, sort of. Uh, one of them is like trash. I got it just because I think the discs might be better than the ones I have. Um, ugh. And actually, two of these games I already own, but these had different cases. Uh... All right. So first up is uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon Two, the th Triple Thrill Pack. Looks like it's got. Uh... Well, it's kind of hard to tell, actually. This label looks so cheap. I wonder if it's even legit. It's hard to tell. Um, but yeah, I mean, it doesn't say it doesn't say if all these are on the same disc or not. And I guess it is. Um, so yeah, Roller Coaster Tycoon Two. We'll toss that onto the. Uh, yeah, should be able to. Well, either the ninety eight machine or we'll we'll toss it onto the, the XP machine. So. Uh, next up is Max Payne, 
And then uh, Max Payne 2. Max Payne 2 is kind of trashy. Uh, the box is kind of trashy. But again, for a buck, I think I ended up paying like 10 or 15 bucks for, for my... No, not 10 or 15. I think it was like 6 or 7 maybe $8 for my copy of this. Um, but the discs, if I remember correctly, weren't the best. So let's, uh, let's see what these discs are like. Um, yeah, discs are decent. I'm going to have to compare these to my copy. And then what I might do is uh, ship this out to one of my friends. I still have to send him a pair care package. Yeah, the discs are okay. They're not great. But again, for a buck, you know, if you just want to play the game, it's perfect. So, all right. So Max Payne 2. Let's see what Max Payne 1 is. I've never seen Max Payne 1 in like a uh, case like this. I've only seen it in uh, the big box. Actually, you know what? I probably have seen it like this before. I just don't remember. We used to we used to carry lots of PC games in retail. Yeah, this one's in good shape. But yeah, I already have a. Uh, uh, where is it? Yeah, I already have the original version that came in uh, just a jewel case. You know, this would go in a, a big box. I'd like to eventually get a big box copy of this game too. Um. But for a buck, I also have one of these copies that, that can go on a different shelf. So, yeah. So that is everything. We, that's, that's actually a lot of games. Here, come over here, girl. Come over here. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 games for a dollar a piece. Basically $2 a piece because they were, you know, it was about a buck a piece to ship it. Oh, 19 because of Fly 2000. Forgot about that. So. Um, I'm going to set these aside. I'm going to have to clean some of them, swap out some of the cases and whatnot. Yeah, no, big box games are great, man. I love them. I collect uh, big box PC titles. But yeah, probably about half of these I'll install. Um, well, I mean, I'll probably install all of them, but... Probably half of them I'll actually play on stream, like, you know, Frogger, Need for Speed, The Sims, Unreal Tournament, Railroad Tycoon 2, uh, Die by the Sword, Tony Hawk 2, stuff like that. Uh, some of the other stuff will just be there for novelty. You know, it was cheap, so it was like, you know, want to build that uh, PC game collection, so we have lots of fodder for it. All right. Uh, let's actually put these over here. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna turn this light off. I'm gonna wash my hands because that was kind of disgusting. sweetheart how are you oh man yeah so big box pc games um you know towards the end of the big box pc game life um there wasn't as much point ow, near the end but in the early 90s, a lot of big box PC games would have lots of documentation and stuff like that. You know, really big manuals, lots of flyers and stuff like that. Um, so having big boxes made sense. Um, not only do they look really cool, you know, especially on a, on a shelf, but... And they're they're fun to open up and like take the games out and look at look through all you know the documentation and whatnot. Um, you know they did have a purpose, which some people forget about. Man, they um, you know adventure games, role playing games, uh, and stuff like that. Strategy games they they usually had huge manuals. Even SimCity two thousand had a manual that was 
like really, uh, really well thought out, really hefty, explained pretty much everything about the game, which was really cool. 